good morning and a, and a very warm welcome to all so today we are uh, discussing the last portion of the important culture media used in microbiology laboratory this is the last part so first of all we can discuss the remaining parts of the culture media selenite f broth this selenite broth it was devised by leifson uh, leifson is a person who also designed the medium Hugh Leifson's media. So uh, it was devised by Leifson who demonstrated that selenite was inhibitory for coliforms. It is it kills the coliforms and certain other microbial species such as fecal streptococci present in the fecal specimens and thus was beneficial. It was a beneficial in the recovery of uh, Salmonella species. So, selenite F broth, it is used in the recovery of Salmonella species and it is also called selenite F broth and it is an enrichment medium and it is uh, buffered with lactose peptone broth to which sodium biselenite is added as the selective agent. So, here we are adding so sodium biselenite for the isolation of Salmonella from feces, urine, water, foods and other materials of sanitary importance. Here lactose is the carbohydrate source which helps to maintain the pH of the medium. Selenate is the compound. It is reduced by the bacterial growth and alkali is produced as a result of the reduction of the bacteria by this compound. An increase in the pH, what cause it lessens the toxicity of the selenate and it may result in the overgrowth of other bacteria. The acid produced by the bacteria it is due to the lactose fermentation which serves to maintain neutral pH. So the increase in the pH lessens the toxicity of the selenite and it results in the overgrowth. So the bacteria while producing this acid to the lactose fermentation, it does in go, um, results in the increase in the uh, pH, it maintains the neutral pH. Here sodium phosphate, it maintains a stable pH and it lessens the toxicity of selenate. Sodium hydrogen selenate, which is also called sodium biselenate, it is very toxic corrosive agent and it may cause teratogenicity. So, sodium selenate inhibits uh, many, what do you mean by teratogenicity? Teratogens are those uh, pathogens which cross the placental barrier. That's why it is teratogenicity is the term given. Okay. The sodium selenate inhibits many species of gram positive and gram negative bacteria including enterococci and coliforms. So, it inhibit androcoque and other coliforms also and do not incubate, incubate the broth longer than 24 hours as inhibitory effect of this selenite decrease after 6 to 12 hours of incubation so that's why no need of incubating the broth longer than 24 hours this is the uninoculated media of selenite f broth and this is the inoculated media. Here are the showing the fluid selenide cysteine medium. That is, this is the control. And Salmonella typhi FPR like this. Cholerose, cholera suis. Then Salmonella typhi and Escherichia coli. Most of them are uh, similar in appearance. Next is about charcoal yeast agar. Feely et al. in 1978, he developed a medium to isolate Legionella species and it was later modified by substituting yeast extract for casein hydrolysate and beef extract and replacing the starch with activated charcoal and now its name is charcoal yeast extract agar. It is a, a further modification was also made by Pasquale et al. in 1980 by the addition of ACES. N2-acetamido-2-amino-ethane-sulfonic acid. It is a buffer 
in order to maintain the pH of for the optimal growth, which was designated uh, for the buffered charcoal yeast extract. So, this ACES, ACES is the buffer added to maintain the pH. In 1981, Edelstein et al. further modified the medium by the addition of potassium salts of alpha ketoglutaric acid, which increase the sensitivity of the medium. And it is recommended for use in the cultivation and the primary isolation of Legionella species in water and other samples suspected of harboring the bacteria. And this is the Legionella species buffer charcoal yeast extract agar and the growth which is seen is of the Legionella pneumophilae. And this is the growth which is seen in the buffer charcoal yeast extract agar. Next is Carrie Blair medium. Carrie Blair medium, it is a transport medium. So why we are using transport medium? In order to transport the specimen uh, without causing any decay or death of the uh, organism which is very sensitive, we are using transport medium. So here Carrie Blair transport medium, it is a simple, semi-solid and non-nutritive medium. And it is used for the collection and preservation of the specimen, microbiological specimen. The minimal nutrients in the medium, because of the least amount of nutrients in the medium, it facilitates the survival of organism without multiplication. The semi-solid consistency, it helps to provide an ease of transport. And the prepared medium, it can be stored up to one year after the preparation at room temperature. So, up to one year we can use this medium. Carry blood transport medium. It is a modification of Stewart's medium, which is composed or comprised of improved buffering system. So, here a buffering system is improved. How? By replacing sodium glycerophosphate with inorganic phosphate. So, it helps to maintain the pH and increase the life of that medium. The improved form formulation, it prevents the overgrowth of enterobacteria and it also contributes to the effective preservation of Salmonella and Shigella for long periods. And also it is used for the transportation of clinical specimens suspected to contain enteric pathogens including Salmonella. Shigella, Vibrio cholerae and Escherichia coli O157 H7. It is a name of that strain E. coli O157 is to H7. So, these specimens can be transported using the carry blair medium. So, this is the carry blair transport medium. It is available in different form, usually in the form of swab and also in this type of media. Next is Amis medium. It is also another improved transport medium. It contains charcoal to prolong the viability of the pathogenic organism. And mainly this medium is used for gonococci and other pathogens. It is also semi-solid medium recommended for use in qualitative procedures for the transport of clinical swab specimens to the laboratory. It is the modified transport medium produced by replacing. So it is the modified Stuart transport medium. And here also it is replaced by glycerophosphate with inorganic phosphate buffer and adding charcoal to the medium. Charcoal increases the viability of the organism. This modified medium, it gives a higher percentage of positive results than the transport medium of Stuart. So better than Stuart's transport medium, Carrie Blair and Amis are now commonly used. This Amis transport medium provides a reduced environment due to the presence of sodium thioglycolate and small amount of agar. Charcoal helps to neutralize the materials that are toxic to sensitive pathogens like Neisseria gonorrhea. Calcium, magnesium, potassium and sodium salts 
helps the survival of gonococcal cells and also control the permeability of the bacterial cells. So this may helps in surviving the gonococcal cells and controlling the permeability. Phosphates buffer the medium helps to maintain the pH. This is also the amine transport media. This portion is the agar portion. Contain less amount of nutrients. Next is about pepton water sugar media. This indicator media are used to study sugar fermentation. Maybe 1% solution of sugar is added to the pepton water containing and reps indicator in a test tube. So sugar can be either lactose, glucose, mannitol etc. We can add depending upon the type of medium we are using. And a small inverted tube is present inside the pepton water sugar medium called Durham's tube. This uh, the media appear colorless. Why we are using Durham's tube to detect any gas production. After culture, change of the medium. After culture and incubation, whenever there is a change in the color of the medium to red, it indicates acid production. Gas, if there is any type of gas production, it can be seen as an air bubble collected in the Durham's tube. This is the media. This is uninoculated media. Okay. Next is about triple sugar iron agar. It is also known as TSI agar. To determine whether the gram negative bacilli ferment glucose and lactose or sucrose and forms hydrogen sulfide. So this type of medium it is mainly useful to differentiate enterobacteriaceous species. Family enterobacteriaceae. So members of the enterobacteriaceae family and from other gram negative roads. Mainly TSI is used for the differentiation of enterobacteriaceae. The triple sugar iron agar is uh, test is des designed to differentiate among the different group or genera of the endobacteria which are all what is the peculiarity of endobacteria family all are gram negative bacilli all are capable of fermenting glucose with the production of acid and also all of them are capable to distinguish them from other gram negative intestinal bacilli the differentiation is mainly based on the fermentation of the glucose and lactose. Fermentation of the glucose and lactose or sucrose and also the hydrogen sulfide production. TSIA medium contains 10 parts of lactose. So lactose is 10 parts, 10 parts of sucrose and only one part of glucose and peptide. So, 10 part of lactose, 10 parts of sucrose. Phenol red is used as indicator and ferrous sulfate also serve as indicators for acidification. Phenol red, the color changes when the acid production takes place. Ferrous sulfate indicator is added and it also color changes to black during the hydrogen sulfide formation. The acid base indicator phenol red Incorporated for detecting carbohydrate fermentation is indicated by a change in the color of the carbohydrate medium. So, the carbohydrate medium changes its color from orange red to yellow in the presence of acids. In case of oxidative decarboxylation of the peptone, the alkaline products are built and also the pH rise. So there is no acid production in the case of oxidative decarboxylation and this is indicated by the change in the color of the medium from orange red to deep red, not yellow. Yellow is indicated in acid production. Sodium thiosulfate and ferrous ammonium sulfate present in the medium. It is capable of detecting the production of hydrogen sulfide and it is indicated by the black color in the butt of the tube indicates black color. If there is a hydrogen sulfide production, a black, black color can be indicated in the bottom or butt of the tube. 